In this video I show you how I adjust the pH level of a glass of water by using citric acid and baking soda to make it lower and higher as much as I need. You can use this to adjust the pH temperature, the pH level of soil with water or to adjust the pH level of a fish tank. Also in many fermentation processes or well, if you make uh, anything, drinks, fermented drinks or anything, the pH level is super important. So if you want to get your recipes right, the pH uh, meter works like this. It depends if you would be able to use baking soda or citric acid, but I don't see any reason why not, because they are uh, easy. You can use lemon juice to make uh, the water more acidic if you want it to. 0.5 on the scale of the pH meter the lower the number the more acidic the solution and the higher the number the more towards the base acid citric acid in baking soda there is citric acid on the meter and it's reacting with the baking the, the citric acid reacts with the baking soda in the glass and that's when, when it's happening they neutralize each other if it's equal quantities and also the ph it's changed and it's making this foamy stuff wow. reaction time It gets really fizzy and while the bubbles are going on the pH level is getting stabilized depending if it's more citric acid or more baking soda it will stabilize higher or lower on the pH meter level but you see here the bubbles are they keep going it's like a soft drink here <laughs> I mean this is uh, interesting to watch the bubbles When I agitate the solution, there are more bubbles because they combine it with each other more. When the bubbles are completely gone or there are no more new bubbles, then you know it's more stable. I was trying to measure while the bubbles are going, but it's a bit, I don't know, the meter goes a bit, uh, doesn't, doesn't really show, show right. Two, one. So if you wanted to measure the pH of a liquid like this, you put your uh, solution, citric acid, if you want to make it more acidic, to lower the number or baking soda to increase it and then wait until any reaction is finished and then measure it. You see, I put more citric acid in the glass of water, the mix. Bubble time. Doesn't really happen. There are a few bubbles. But it's not much because this solution is already acidic so the citric acid added to another acidic solution doesn't really make a reaction you see also the the water looks a bit like uh, marbles inside there are different uh, different levels of uh, the water it's when it's getting mixed If you mix it, it really helps a lot to get it stabilized sooner, but yeah, you can just wait. It needs to stabilize, but it's about 14, 12, 7. So I had to shake it a little bit. 7.3, 7.7. .7. Okay, shake it. This is the other plain water. Six point eight, six point four. And let's try this magic thing. This 
this is 3.4 3 3.7 4 4.8 I can use baking soda The solution before I put the baking soda in was very acidic but now it's going to increase and at every step it will increase as you will see now. 3, 3.9, 4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.